You don't know what to draw? How about draw something that can truly express yourself? And especially for yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you 100 ideas you can draw about yourself. Even though you don't know how to draw, you can just grab your own journals and write 100 things about yourself. Just take your time to help yourself out because talking to yourself and listening to your heart is always important to your mental health especially during this quarantine period and now let me show you my attempt in drawing 100 things about myself Hi, I'm Kaiyi I know there are lots of people think that it's pronounced Kaylee but actually it's Ka Dan Yi My name consists of two separate words I like wearing my Disney hoodie It is cute and comfy to me My YouTube channel just hit 100 subscribers last month Yay! And the most special things about 100 subscribers is you finally get a custom URL for your channel. Yeah, yeah! And please subscribe to small YouTubers. Your support is very, very important to us. I'm a cat person because I don't like dogs barking. He is my husband, Chris. I'm attracted to him because of his height and smell. He is 194 cm tall and he smells like milk to me. I don't know how to explain the smell. He just smells very good to me. I know I'm very weird. I am 156 cm tall and yeah, we have huge height difference. I will describe myself as friendly, silly and tiny. This is the scenery outside my home. Right now it is spring. Although the snow melts already, it's still very cold to me. My favorite birthday cake is chocolate cake. My birthday is on April 16. I'm from Hong Kong and I dislike people say that I'm from China a lot. It's like a lot. We actually have different language, cultures and behavior from people in China because we were governed by the British government for almost 100 years so please don't say that we are from China most Hong Kong people don't like to hear that we are from Hong Kong Hong Kong is Hong Kong I can speak three languages Cantonese is my native language that's why my English is not as fluent in my videos. I can speak some Mandarin too. Right now I'm living in US with my husband. We meet each other in the online game League of Legends. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I played Lulu and he played Corky at that time. We win two rank game in a row, so we leave each other a very good first impression. We were in a 7,000 miles long distance relationship for four years. We closed distance at June 2019. We married at 24th August 2019, and we will be silly couple ever after. Happily ever after! There are three super special important person in my life. They are my best friend, Rai, my mom, and my student also is my friend, Vanessa. I feel very thankful to have them in my life. They always support me no matter what happened to me. And their support lead me to a better person that I want to be. Thank you for all your love and support to me. I love you guys. You are my favorite persons. I always speak very, very loud. This annoyed my friends a lot. They always wish that they could build my voice with a remote control. I 
enjoy drawing people's attentions a lot. I love drawing and meeting new friends. My dream is to live in one of the Disney princess castle and live like a princess. Although right now I'm not living in a castle, I still feel I live like a princess. And this has to thanks to my dearest husband. <laughs> In 2020s, I want to reach 100 subscribers on YouTube, which I already did it. Yeah, and I'm now still working on filling up. Sketchbooks, and I want to reach gold in League of Legends. I want to lose 30 pounds, and I hope that I can learn how to drive within this year. My favorite quote is "Do what makes you happy," and this quote is from my favorite book, and the book name is "You Don't Have to Work Too Hard." I'm not sure about its name in English, but. That's what it means in a Chinese translate book cover. The greatest achievement in my life is I graduate with a first class honor in degree. Low Kai included in the Dean's Honors List for outstanding academic performance. Graduated is a first class honor. <laughs> I was a graduate class representative and I also got and distinction in master degree. I know academic result is not everything for being a person, but I still very <laughs> proud of myself in achieving so much in the past. In the future, I want to earn my living from YouTube as an artist. I know I am still far, far, far away from that, but I appreciate every single step I made. Even one more subscriber, still a one step closer to become a great YouTuber. And for today, I just want to play more Animal Crossing. I seriously addict to this game, and my best friend Ride have a Twitter account named Gaming Ride. She makes Animal Crossing gameplay posts, so please follow her if you also addict to this game. I am a date person. I totally cannot work at night because I usually too tired. Also, I need lots of light when I working on my drawing. And my ideal routine is once I wake up, I have a nice breakfast from my husband, and then I do some exercise like jogging and yoga, and then draw, then edit videos, upload videos. After that, have dinner, and then take rest, playing lead, and talk with friends and family. But in reality. I usually cannot finish that much. I end up with only do one of them. I mean, drawing or editing video or upload video. Just only can do one of them. I am super lazy during the weekend. I usually just play game and hanging with my husband. Legal high me like ah. Yeah, my gotcha one. Sometimes we take a nap, just nothing productive during the weekend. And now let's talk about art. My top three art surprise are Copic marker, watercolor, and watercolor pencil. I have 16 sketchbooks, and I still want more sketchbooks even I'm not finishing them. My favorite color is pink, and the first three things that come into my mind, which is in pink, are sakura, a pink bunny, and pink cloud. What does my favorite color say about me? I actually Google these questions, and what I'm writing is the result for people who pick pink as their favorite color. I have too many favorite artists. But the first one come into my mind would be Asia Ladoska. 
I love her manga anime style a lot. I love how she use color. I love how she draw her character facial expressions, and also the posture is so natural. She just have tons of good things for me to learn. I'm still in a stage of exploring my own art style, so you can tell my style are not consistent compared to other artists. But I know that I prefer QC chippy style and also anime manga style. So I think I will keep working on these two direction until I can find my own art style. I recently learned rock paintings using acrylic paint. You could check out my previous rock painting video in the top right hand corner. And now let's move on to games. My favorite computer game is League of Legends. I play support role. My favorite champion is Sona because she can just randomly press button and don't have to aim anything. I pay rank and I'm at super free now. Yeah! I spent more than four years to get to this current rank. I I know I'm trash. My favorite mobile game is Disney Zoom Zoom. And my favorite Switch game is Mario Kart. And now let's move on anime. My top three favorite animes are Kaketa Sakura, Ojamajo Doremi, and Sailor Moon. I always love watching magical girl animes. I always feel myself just like Umaru Jang in Himoto. Especially when she's in chippy style and she always being lazy and bossy, that's how I am. And my favorite Pokemon is Pimarina. She looks like a mermaid and she's so elegant. I'm currently watching High Cute and my favorite character is Kageyama. I love smart character and he's always so calm and smart in doing strategic move. I hope that one day I could teleport, so I could always go back to Hong Kong and spend time with my friends and family. My most unusual talent is stealing blankets. I not even know that until I woke up and people who sleep next to me told me that I always throw away my own blanket and steal their blankets. It's already proved by my mom, my best friend, and my husband. My favorite Disney princess is Rapunzel. I love the message behind her story, which is about reaching gold and stepping out of the comfort zone. And she loves drawing and painting too, just like me. The most inspiring Disney movie to me is Meet the Robinsons. I love his keep moving forward spirit, and the story show that even you fail, every single step you take can lead you to success. And the most important Disney movie to me is The Monster University. As I said, I have been chosen to be a graduate representative. I need to deliver a speech in the graduation ceremony. I include the Monster University as a little story in my speech. My best friend and I feel very associated to the main character too. Therefore, it is very important movie to me. Baby Yoda is obviously the cutest Star Wars characters ever. No need to explain. My favorite Star Wars character is Darth Vader. I love the character design and the development a lot. He have the strongest outlook but the weakest body. He also have a very rich backstory too. Now let's move on to my journaling. I love writing journal because I love to capture my memory every day. I always enjoy looking back the memory on certain day. It feel like time traveling to the past to me. I start journaling as 2005, so I have 15 years experience right now. I like to use my mid liner, which are double head highlighter, my G2 color ball pen set, and I also love to use lots of sticker and washi tips. Last but not least is my Canon photo printer. I love printing lots of photos for my journal. 
My favorite season is autumn because I love orange and yellow color leaves on the tree. My favorite holiday is Christmas because it is the most wonderful time of the year. And I could get lots of Christmas gifts. And last Christmas gift I received is this camera I currently using for my YouTube videos. The last time I laughed out loud is Chris wearing his shorts in a reverse way for whole days and both of us not even noticed that until his mom told us. I always laugh at very simple silly stuff like that. Now let's talk about food. My favorite food is rice. My favorite drink is water. Yeah, I know I'm pretty boring in drinking, but I love feeling healthy and fresh while I'm drinking water. I drink a lot of water every day. Hong Kong have lots of special local food. My favorite is fish ball, egg tart, red bean puddings, and siu mai dumpling. Unlimited sushi or unlimited taco? Of course, unlimited sushi, especially salmon sashimi. I love salmon sashimi the most. My favorite snack is popcorn. My favorite candy is cola candy. And my favorite fruit is mango. I love listening to K-pop and Cantonese song. Apparently, G-Friend is my favorite singer group. I love their vocals the most. They are Unhat and Yuju. Their dancing ability is amazing, and that's how they got me. My favorite song is Sunrise. Unhat and Yuju's high tones in that song is amazing. You have to listen to that. Now let's move on to traveling. My top three favorite place I would like to travel is Hong Kong, Japan, and England. For Hong Kong, I really want to visit my family and friends once I could. I miss them a lot. The second is Japan. Because I love shopping their QC and anime stuff, it also have lots of beautiful flower lights, sakura and lavender. Also, it has Disneyland and Universal Studio. Just this is a place where I gather everything I love. The third is England. I'm so fascinated about their building in TV, but. I never been there before, so I really hope that one day I could travel to there. Here we are at item 93 already. I hope you are still doing okay. And I'm a bit run out of ideas, so let's draw my phone, my keyboard, and my mouse. My phone is an iPhone 8 Plus because I'm an Apple user. My keyboard, I'm using a rainbow color cap mechanical keyboard. It has blue, purple, pink, red gradient lighting too, which is pretty epic to me while typing with it. I'm using the Logi Line Friend Mouth. I have Choco version. She is a cute little bear. It is in pink color and it is very small and cute. It feels very comfortable for my small hand. My favorite flower is Rose and I would love to especially draw it for everyone who contributes and fight against the coronavirus, especially the medical doctor, nurse, and people who work at the healthcare field. The COVID-19 obviously is the biggest global issue right now. I strongly encourage everyone who watching this video, always wash your hands and wear masks if you go outside. See, Taiwan and Hong Kong are very good examples. They have very low increments in COVID-19 confirmed case. And that's because all citizens there wearing masks. I'm not a medical expert, but I still want to encourage everyone wear masks if you can. That won't be harmful for your health too. And the last three things is what I feel grateful for. I'm so thankful that I stay happy and healthy during this COVID-19 pandemic. And lastly, thank you so, 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 so much for watching until the end, even though it is a bit long video and I haven't uploaded for so long. Thanks for the support and waiting.